Learn Oilfield Stuff. Hey there! Welcome back to Learn Oilfield Stuff, the ultimate channel for all things related to the oil and gas industry. Our expert team is dedicated to bringing you informative articles in a fun and engaging way. So, if you're ready to take your knowledge of the oil field to the next level, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In this episode, we're going to learn about the different types of drilling rigs and their applications. Drilling rigs are machines that drill wells or holes into the Earth's subsurface for various purposes, such as extracting oil, gas, water, or steam. Drilling rigs can be huge structures that can drill thousands of meters deep, or they can be small enough to be mounted on trucks. Drilling rigs can also operate on land or offshore, depending on the environment and the well requirements. Let's start with land rigs. Land rigs are drilling rigs that work on land, as the name suggests. Some are mounted on trucks and can be easily transported from one location to another. Land rigs have similar components and functions. They turn the drill bit and drill the well. The main differences between land rigs are the horsepower and the depth they can drill to. The more horsepower a rig has, the more weight it can handle at the surface. The more depth a rig can drill to, the more drill pipe and casing it can lower down all. Another difference is the size of the derrick, which is the tall structure that supports the drill string. Some land rigs can handle three joints of drill pipe at a time, while others can only handle one or two. Now let's move on to offshore rigs. Offshore rigs are drilling rigs that work in water, usually in the ocean. They can be fixed or floating, depending on how they are attached to the seafloor. The main categories of offshore rigs are jackup rigs and floating rigs. Jackup rigs are offshore rigs that have legs that can be lowered down to the seafloor and lift the platform above the water level. Jackup rigs are towed to location while floating on their hulls and their legs elevated out of the water. Once they reach the desired spot, they lower their legs until they touch the bottom and then jack up their platform above the expected wave height. Jackup rigs can have three or four legs depending on their design because their legs need to reach the seafloor. Jackup rigs are limited to about 400 feet of water depth. Floating rigs are offshore rigs that float in the water and do not have any support structure on the seafloor. They can be anchored or dynamically positioned DPS using thrusters to maintain their location. Over the well center, there are two types of floating rigs, semi-submersible rigs and drill ships. Semi-submersible rigs are floating rigs that have pontoons that are partially submerged under water and columns that connect them to the main deck. This provides them with buoyancy and stability in rough weather conditions. Semi-submersible rigs can be used in water depths from 500 to 3,500 feet or up to 10,000 feet with special systems. Drill ships are floating rigs that look like regular ships with a hole in the middle called a moon pool. This allows them to access the drilling tools below the deck. Drill ships are self-propelled and can carry a large amount of cargo and equipment for drilling. They are more suited for exploration and remote location work because they can move quickly from one place to another. Drill ships can operate in water depths up to 12,000 feet. So these are some of the most common types of drilling rigs and their applications. Of course, there are many more variations and details that we didn't cover in this video. But we hope you got a general idea of what drilling rigs are and how they work. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more drilling related content. Questions? Do you have any questions about drilling? Leave them in the comments section below and we will try to answer them. Until then, stay curious and keep drilling.